Are you ready to do some pork schnitzel? When I first heard schnitzel, I'm thinking wiener schnitzel. That's hot dogs where I was born and raised. Boy, was I surprised. I needed four syndicate pork chops. I found them for $11. And I found this big pork loin next to them. Same thing for $7 and change. Cut your own syndicate pork chops. Buy the loin and save your money. After I cut out the four I needed and this left over for the freezer, I figure I'm about $100 ahead for seven bucks. I don't have a meat hammer, so I'm using grandma's old knock em over the head rolling pin to beat these down. I know these chops are for pounding because there was a couple of girls in front of the store with signs that said, Pound me, too. Well, there they are, trimmed up and ready to go, and here's your long-awaited procedure. An egg and a splash of milk, whipped up for an egg wash. And some seasoned flour with some Lowry's and smoked paprika. And finally, the Japanese breadcrumbs called pinko. First into the egg wash, then into the flour, and back into the egg wash, creating a type of glue. And finally into the panko breadcrumbs, coated well all over to make it crunchy. And then beat and repeat. Now I did three of these with the panko breadcrumbs, but I got a new bowl. I want to show you a trick here. I did this with fried chicken about a week ago and it was so damn good. I believe I've got a picture. There it is. Instant potatoes. I chose loaded baked flavor. And I want to try one of these that way. So out of the egg wash, into the flour, back into the egg wash, and then into the potato flakes. And we're just going to let it sit here and get happy. While we do our first two in the foodie, a little bit of olive oil. Separate them and hit sear and saute on medium. About two minutes per side and they're done. They're nice and brown and left a lot of goodies in that pot for later. And our final two goes into the pot. I volley boiled both sides of these. And going in last, our potato flake cutlet. And look at here, they're browning up nicely. And I do believe we are there. And now it's time to make our creamy dill sauce. Into the booty goes a cup of chicken broth. Glazing the pot with all those brown spots And then we add a half a cup of sour cream And a teaspoon of dried dill We're just gonna whisk it up real good And let it sit here and simmer Until it thickens Now once that's done, we're done And in case you're wondering Which is the potato flake cutlet? It's this one right here on your left that's the potato flake cutlet. And now you know. And there's no difference. And this creamy dill sauce, I'm telling you, it is so good. It makes you love your mother-in-law. Boy, and I gotta tell you for pork, that's the schnitz. So, recipe says to serve it with warm potato salad. I did. And something acidic. So I added some of my homemade pickled asparagus. Arrogance. It is very acidic. Come on, people, it's just a pork cutlet. <laughs> That's about all I have here. That's my spin on the pork schnitzel. Until next time, I'll see you while I go.